Today I'm gonna to be doing the first oil change on this 2023 C8 Corvette. I've got everything you should need here. I've got eight quarts of oil. It calls out for 7.5. I've got an AC Delco oil filter. The number is PF64. I've got a 3 a drive ratchet. The extension isn't necessary, but it'll make it a little easier with a 15 millimeter socket. I've got a torque wrench, which again is also something not necessary but if you want to get it torqued to the correct spec of 18 foot pounds for your oil drain plug, you will need that. And then I've got an oil filter wrench, which may or not may not be necessary depending on how tight that filter is. And then the last thing I've got here, well, I suppose I've got also a drain pan and some trap towels, but the last thing that you, you might need here, I've got the pucks that you'll need if you're going to be lifting this up with a floor jack or in this case, a lift. There's lifting points here that are recessed a little bit and there's an oval hole where you can put these in, twist them, and they'll set there in place, and then you can swing your lift arms under it or a floor jack. So I'll link everything in the description below, but that's what we need. So we're gonna start out by putting these pucks under it and lifting it up in the air. I'll capture this better once I have it up in the air, but we've got one puck under there, and then we've got one all the way in the back, pretty much right in front of the tire. So underneath the car here, I can show you the lifting points. So the rear one is right here, barely in front of the rear tire. And the front one is about a foot back from the front tire. So those are your two lifting points. Again, and you can kind of see a little bit of a, a slot right there, but that's too small for the puck. You've got some round ones that are not the right ones. So just make sure you hit the ones that the pucks fit right into, and then you're gonna be good to lift. As far as the oil filter and the drain plug go, the oil filter is pretty obvious. That's this larger hole here. There's your oil filter. And then if we go up, we can see our drain plug right there. And that's a 15 millimeter drain plug. If you look in the manual, the manual specifically says that you need to run this for at least 20 seconds before you drain the oil. So we've just run it for at least 20 seconds. And now I'm gonna crack open this drain plug and we're gonna drain the oil out. This thing is warm, so this oil is coming out fast and you don't want to spill a bunch on yourself. So you probably don't want to do this when it's really hot, but this is not too tough to deal with since we've got it up on a lift and we've got the drain pan up close. So we've just got it down to a trickle here, so I'm gonna pull the drain plug out and you do not have to change the O-ring on this, but it does say to inspect there's actually two, two gaskets on this. There's one around the base of the plug and then there's one at the tip. And so you just want to inspect to make sure that they don't look damaged. If they look fine, you can reinstall it. While we let this finish draining, I'm going to get the filter ready. We haven't pulled the old filter off yet, but I've got the AC Delco PF64 filter. I've got the Mobile One 040 Dexos 2 oil, and we're just going to fill this filter up so that the systems doesn't have to prime everything once we fire it up after the oil change. Now that we're just down to a dribble, we're gonna reinstall our oil drain plug and we're gonna torque it to 18 foot-pounds, which is about 24 Newton meters. Now we're gonna move back to the filter and we'll see if we can loosen this by hand. With it being recessed in here, it's kind of tough to get to. So I'm gonna sneak the oil filter wrench in here I would never have gotten this by hand. That was plenty tight. We'll crack it open and let it drip down a little bit. And we're gonna finish spinning it off and pull it out of there. It's still running down a little bit and you could just leave it and let every single drop run out. It really isn't critical to the procedure here. So I'm just gonna sneak the new filter back up in here that I've got filled up with oil and I put some fresh oil around the O-ring. We're just gonna hand tighten this, but we are gonna go pretty tight. Be careful around the edge here. This aluminum pan has some relatively sharp edges so you can easily slice your hand if you're not careful. We're all done underneath here, so we're gonna get the pan out from under here and we're gonna drop this thing down and we're gonna fill it up with the new oil.
Now we're under the engine cover. Now we just need to pop open this rubber cover. And this is on the convertible model that it has this engine cover here that you need to open up to access the fill plug as well as the dipstick. One thing I didn't mention earlier in the video in my list of things I needed was a funnel. So here I've got a funnel. We're gonna take the oil cap off and we'll put the funnel in. The funnel would not be mandatory, but you're gonna want a funnel. All right, we've put 7.5 quarts in. So now we're gonna start this up. All right, we have hit our threshold of at least 175 degrees per the manual. So now I'm gonna pull the dipstick out. We'll wipe it off. We've got the car idling in park. And you probably can't see it, but we are right at the full mark. So seven and a half quarts it is. So we need to scroll over to maintenance. If you watch the screen right there. And then we've got our engine oil at 2%. And we'll select reset engine oil. And then yes. And now it is reset to 100%. Of course, the last step is a road test.